All right, guys, we're back with another video. Today, we're doing a speed test between the brand new iPhone 12 Pro versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, I will be doing an updated speed test when the 12 Pro Max does come out. That does not have for another three weeks, so we just do have the 12 Pro for now. Um, but this is the speed test. Got the brand new A14 Bionic in the 12 Pro, and we do have the A13 Bionic in the 11 Pro Max. So it'll be interesting to see how the 11 Pro Max does. The 12 Pro does also have an extra two gigs of RAM as well. So it's now, it's up, now it's up to six gigs in the 12 Pro and only four gigs in the iPhone 11 Pro Max. We'll see if that makes a difference as well. Um, but nonetheless, let's hop straight into the speed test. All right, guys, hopping into the speed test. I'm gonna do a power up test first. But first of all, I just wanna show you guys that they're both on the same Wi-Fi and everything's exactly the same here. Um, at the same time, I'm gonna power down the both devices and then I'm gonna um, plug in the cable or we'll flick the switch to both cables to turn on at the same time. So that's probably the most even way to do it. So let's power down both devices. Now obviously I do have the iPhone 12 Pro on my left and the iPhone 11 Pro Max on my right. And once, like I said before, once the 12 Pro Max does come out, I'll do a comparison between the 12 Pro Max and the 11 Pro Max. Um, but for now, these are the two devices we do have. So on the count of three, I'm gonna plug in the charger. So one, two, three. Let's see which one turns on first. Um, as you guys can see, the 11 Pro Max there coming on first. I was just curious to see, because this has a small display, is it going to be a bit faster because it has push less pixels? Maybe when the 12 Pro Max comes out, maybe it'll be a bit more even. I'm not sure. I'm just throwing ideas out there. We'll see which one starts up first. So the 12 Pro starts up first. Actually, a lot faster than the 11 Pro. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with something a bit light, so such as Maps, the App Store, Safari, the camera app, see which one loads up faster then. I'm not going to clear the app switches after I've started. I want to see if the extra 2 gigs of RAM in the 12 Pro makes a difference. And then we're going to head to a few other benchmarks and a few other games. So we'll start with something light, such as um, the camera app. So 1, 2, 3. Pretty much exactly the same. Let's start it up. Um, weather, 1, 2, 3. Pretty much exactly the same. Maps, 1, 2, 3. Pretty much exactly the same. App Store, one, two, three. Pretty much exactly the same. Again, and just so you guys know, this display is a bit more yellower than the one on the 12, on the 11 Pro Max. And I think apparently that's just how it is at the start. And they, apparently they just tend to ease off on the yellow, yellowing. I don't know how it works. I've just been told. But that's that. Let's hop in to Safari, one, two, three. All right, let's go to the speed test app. It's pretty much the same there. One, two, three. All right, neck and neck, pretty much exactly the same there. Let's go for this one, one, two, three. I think you've seen it, yep. As you guys can see, they're probably a bit more prominent of the yellowing. All right, there's not much of a difference so far. Let's go to Apple, one, two, three. The 12, 11 Pro, again, a bit quicker there, but not much. And let's go finally to the New York Times, one, two, three. So they're pretty close, neck and neck. Pretty much exactly the same again. So not much of a difference so far on the web browsing side of things. Now let's start with some just light apps. So we'll go with YouTube, one, two, three. Again, I think the 12 Pro is a little bit quicker. TikTok, one, two, three. The 12 Pro a little bit quicker. Among Us, one, two, three. Neck and neck so far, not much of a difference at all. Okay, so the 12 Pro did beat it there a little bit faster than the other ones. Temple Run, one, two, three. Now, as more games start to be loaded in, some more apps, I think the, the other extra two gig RAM hopefully will start helping out the 12 Pro. That's what it's obviously there for. So again, that was pretty much exactly the same. It's a bit faster, but not much of a difference. Not much of a huge significant improvement. Here we go for a bit more heavier apps right now. So Real Racing 3, one, two, Three. See if this makes any difference at all. Now the new screen size is 6.1 inch compared to the 5.8 inch on the just the 11 Pro. The new 12 Pro is a bit bigger. And obviously the new 12 Pro Max is 6.7 compared to the 6.5 on the 11 Pro Max. So we'll see when that comes out. Uh, that's my daily driver will be the 12 Pro Max, but this is just for me to test out this 11, this 12 Pro. 12 Pro, beat that out. Again, maybe a couple seconds difference there, not much. Asphalt 9, 1, 2, 3. Bit more heavier of an app here. Normally takes a bit longer to load Asphalt. See how we go here. 
And I really like this flat design now. It's a lot better. It feels a lot more ergonomic in the hand. I really, really like the flat design. And I got the other Pacific blue color as well, which is awesome. But I still think for my daily drive, I'll be rocking the graphite, similar to the space gray or space black, whatever you want to call it. That would be my choice. We'll see here what is going to come through first. What's going to win the A14 or the A13 Bionic? What's going to come through first? Here we go, as you saw there. So the A14 Bionic, straight through on that one. That's already done. You got it out of the app already and it's still loading. Could probably, you'd have been playing right now. You could have been playing. It just has to show you how much quicker this is. There you go. So it's a good 20 seconds, I reckon, there of how much faster the Asphalt 9 was loaded on the iPhone 12 Pro. Let's load up some Netflix. One, two, three. They actually got a bit quicker on the 11 Pro. I think it was trying to load something else on the 12 Pro, but 11 Pro Max there. All right, load up Call of Duty. It's a big app. It's 2.6 gigs. We'll see how this one goes on both devices. One, two, three. All right. It looks like they're pretty neck and neck right now. Looks like the 12 Pro might be just ahead. Yep. Um, confirm. Yeah, so the 12 Pro a little bit ahead, but not too much of a difference. The 11 Pro Max actually came back there pretty quick. So now let's run some benchmarks, and then we'll get back to opening the apps um, with all in the background, see if the RAM helps. So we'll get some Geekbench open, one, two, three. As you saw there, um, everything's updated all here. One, two, three. Run this. All right, guys, so here are the scores on both devices. As you guys can see, the 12 Pro higher in both the single core score and the multi-core score. Um, but the single core score and multi-core score on the 11 Pro Max still um, very, very high, uh, which is very good uh, for the long run. But as you guys can see there, not too, there's not too much of a difference in the multi-core and the single core. I thought there was going to be a bigger difference, but there's not. But it's, again, it's still um, quite a bit ahead of the competition. All right, let's go to and to do benchmark now. One, two, three. 12 Pro again, faster. All right, let's start the testing. I'll come back to you guys once this is finished. All right, so here are my results for n Benchmark. And for some reason, my GPU part of the iPhone 12 Pro was a lot slower than the 11 Pro Max. And now, I don't know if it's due, maybe the phone's getting hot. I'm not sure and it's throttling itself. But part of the test, it was lagging it was lagging on the 12 Pro and it wasn't lagging on the 11 Pro Max. So I don't know what's happening there, but they're the scores I got. I'm going to run it one more time and I'm going to show you guys um, a screenshot of what I got uh, on the second time I ran it. But this is the first time and hopefully the second time I do run it, it is a bit faster. All right, guys, I did run N2 do again and this is the result I did get for the second time. As you guys can see, my GPU score is a lot higher than it was on the first test. I think it was just because my iphone was actually hot at the time it might have, must have been overheating and throttling but this is the a new score that i did get on an to do benchmark on the iphone 12 pro let's hop in to speed test which is right here we're both on the same wi-fi networks for both phones um now i'm gonna run one phone at a time on the wi-fi and then i'm gonna do a 4g speed test lte because i haven't got 5g at the moment it's um my SIM card's on its way, so I can't really test that out yet. But once the 12 Pro Max does come out, then I can test that out properly. But for now, let's test out the speed for the Wi-Fi on the 11, uh, the 12 Pro and the 11 Pro Max. All right, so they're the Wi-Fi speeds I did get. So pretty much exactly the same on both devices. One megabit difference on the downloads and about not even 3.3 uh, .3 megabits different on the upload. So again, very, very similar in terms of Wi-Fi speeds. Now I'm going to put in the SIM card, and I'm gonna test out some LTE speeds. All right, guys, so here are the results. For some reason, my 11 Pro Max, I don't know what's happening, but it wasn't peaking. I don't know, it's on LTE, both Optus. As you guys can see, the 11 Pro Max wasn't getting nowhere near as high as the 12 Pro for some reason. I'm not sure why I run it twice again, same service, same everything, and it was just getting a different speed. So I'm not sure, maybe it's getting hot and it's overheating, I'm not sure, but that's the result I did get for speed test. I also wanted to retest the LTE speeds I did get yesterday because they were quite low, as you guys can see, I got 58 on one test and then 58.3 on the other test. So I retested it and I actually got 181, 17.3 um, upload, and I also got 198 on one test 
and 16.3. So that looks a lot more normal than what the LTE speeds were yesterday. Again, it probably came down to the phone, probably thermal throttling, I assume, and it was just wasn't as high, I'm not too sure, but this is the new result. Now, I wanna see if these apps are preloaded in the background. So we're gonna to go to uh, maps, one, two, three. Preloaded, everything's good weather, one, two, three. Let's go YouTube, one, two, three. Preloaded. TikTok, one, two, three. Yep, in the background, Among Us, one, two, three. So this is where you can see the six gig of RAM kicking in now and holding all the apps in the background or start of the apps. Among Us was already ready to go on the 12 Pro. Let's go for Temple Run 2, one, two, three. Temple Run 2, again, ready to go. Wheel Racing, one, two, three. Again, ready to go. All right, let's try that again, one, two, three, because my Wi-Fi wasn't connected. One, two, three. Everything seems exactly the same. So I'm just double checking. Netflix, one, two, three. One, two, three. So as you can see, the 6 gig RAM is helping a lot to keep this 11, the 12 Pro with the apps preloaded compared to the 11 Pro Max had the problem of having to reload the apps after the RAM and it couldn't handle too much. The RAM couldn't handle enough and then that's what happens. That's to preload, reload all the apps again that are heavy. Now, the last test I want to quickly do is an iMovie export um, and see which one exports is faster. So these both going to be in 4K. Um, and we're going to export it and see which one gets done faster. So one, two, three. Alrighty guys, both things completed here on the iPhone. 12 Pro did do it first and I got an error saying there wasn't enough space for some reason, but this did come in second anyway. So the iPhone 12 Pro was quicker in that test as well. And apart from that guys, that wraps up the speed test portion of this video. Alrighty guys, that wraps up the video of the brand new iPhone 12 Pro versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max speed test. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Stay tuned to the channel. I have a lot of other videos coming out. I've got a camera test between these two. And also, like I said before, when the iPhone 12 Pro Max does come out, I have these speed tests again with the new phone and another camera test because the cameras are a bit different. Also, I have an iPad Air 4 versus the iPad Pro video coming out as well. A little comparison um, and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys in another video.